Hi guys. Today I decided to test out my stove. One of these little pocket stoves. So far, um, I've just used two of these in my pot and it's bring this to a boil just fine. And it's taken, I didn't do it from the start, I wished I would have, but it's taken all about 10 minutes to get, get this to a boil. I'm getting ready to put another one of these in here because I'm making spaghetti with meatballs. I still got to put the sauce in there and our meatballs, but it's boiling good. Can they hear it? Can you hear it? Yeah, it's boiling really good. And I didn't do the thin noodles, spaghetti noodles. I did, I'm going to make some ziti out of this ragadini. Rigatoni. Rigatoni. And um, I want to try a more stout noodle. But we'll get back to you as soon as we get closer to being done. Pasta's close to being done now. We're going to throw in a handful of dehydrated peppers. Just for fun to see what happens. I think I'll throw in a little bit more of them. In boiling water, these peppers just hydrate really fast. Let me see here. Yep, just a couple more minutes. I don't know if you watched um, any of our videos where we started opening these and cooking with them, but this is, I've been open for about a, what, a month? That's all we got left. These were great in scrambled eggs for making Potatoes brying too, you know, frying potatoes with these in it, and scrambled eggs, and cheese, and ham omelets with these in it. It's already hydrated. Yep. Now, I'm give it a couple shots of garlic. Cause I like it. I like to do this in the water when just before the noodles are done because the noodles will suck in all that flavor. I think I'm gonna give it some more meatballs. Look at that, how beautiful is that? This cap stove, my wife and I got a big five. I like it because it has a built-in strainer. But we'll turn it back on in about two more minutes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and strain it now. Outside cooking. <clears throat> okay, Let's see what we got here. Look at that.
Wait, my pan's burning. A little bit of sauce in there. Hear that? I think that ought to be enough. Well, it's pretty. Running low on flame there though. I hope it's got enough to heat the sauce up. If not, the noodles are warm enough. Oh yeah, that's heating it up. Okay. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm gonna um drop a little cheese in there. Maybe just a pinch more. We like cheese. That look pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got some bubbling going on in here. Should have grabbed a spoon instead of a fork. Okay, overcook the noodles a little bit. Uh oh. Let the dog out to clean up the mess. There it is. What do you think, Noodle? Looks good. Okay. Now, for the final little Thing. I'm gonna melt some cheese on top of it. Just love cheese. There. And finish it off with another splash of garlic. Make like garlic cheese. There's our survival lunch with our tin stove. I suggest getting one of these. I was really impressed with it. I was bragging on my alcohol one for so long, but that did do better, cooked faster, didn't make a mess. The alcohol one does. The only thing is,